Hey, what's happening, party people? You guys know the drill. This is Chop It Up, the web-based show where we ask and they tell. I am the one and only Matt Campy standing among the 2 and 6 TV crew here at the B-Law studio in the ever-so-beautiful downtown Cleveland, Ohio. Today's guest on the show is rapper John Wright, a.k.a. Chamberlain Franklin. What's going on, man? How you doing? How's it going, man? It's going good, man. How's it going, everybody? It's happening. Man, we're here at B-Loft, 216, Matt Campy, the crew. I'm John Wright. Chamberlain Franklin. We're it's, here. A, it's a beautiful Saturday. Yeah, it's a beautiful <laughs> Saturday. You know, you already know the number one team in the country in the college ranks is going to, well, I think they're playing now. I think they, they start going. playing at like a half hour. Oh, it's a half hour? Something oh, like that. I got my time wrong. So tell me, man, how did you get started in rap? Man, it's always been a passion. Uh, you know, like, man, in my early childhood, man, like hearing the Beastie Boys, NWA, Pac. So just a lot of artists, man. Scarface, you know what I'm saying? And then you got inspired by like all that old school rap to like get started doing it yourself? Of, a whole bunch of different artists throughout the years, man. You know, like first time I ever wrote something, I was probably like 11. You know what I'm saying? Just about my favorite TV shows I like to watch, right? With my cousin. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, it's always been a passion, man. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's just now I'm starting to come into my zone. You know, sometimes people, you know, they... They go through things in their lifetime, and then they finally find that niche. Right. You know what I'm saying? And they, you know, they, they go for it, man. Yeah. So you, know you feel like you you're finally starting to put it all in perspective it's and focus it in. Or? It's all coming to a head. It's all coming together. I started connecting with the right people. You know what I'm saying? The right producers and uh, the, you know the right sound that I was looking for. Right. You know, that helps me to express me, and you know me catching the waves of what's going on in our country, man, in the world as a whole, man. So, right, and definitely, and sometimes, you know, progression takes time, you know what I mean? You can't it, just it, jump it right into being time, the best man. out. Right, you know, I, I, you know it, it takes time. It definitely takes time. And, you know, you know, any artist that's, you know, doing it is ever-evolving. I'm ever-evolving, even though I think I'm at a good point right now. Okay. And, uh, you know, the time will come real soon for y'all to catch this. You know what I'm saying? Ride the wave with me. Have you performed live, or if so, how many times? I, I how many times live, do you think man. you performed? You know, I, I did the Ohio Hip Hop Awards Showcase Tour. You know what I'm saying? I, I did the Hot Import Night. I was one of only three rappers that did that. Um, you know, I got a show coming up here uh, on the 20th, October 20th, over at the Rock Bar. It, it's slated for the Rock Bar, but it might get moved to the Odeon, depending on the turnout. And uh, the headliner is Caskey uh, from Cash Money. So if y'all ain't hip to him, get hip to him. He's nice, man. He's he, he's a nice I dude. heard of him, but I never yeah. really listened to his stuff. Right, right, right. What would you say your music is mainly focused on? Like, what is your music about? I tend to focus on, you know, political issues, man. Mm -hmm. You know, to raise awareness because I don't think there's a lot of that out there that, you know, a lot of people can relate to, you know, to where you catch their interest and then, you know, hit them with a little bit of politicalness to where it, it all rides the song real smooth, you know what I'm saying? And, mm -hmm. you know, it helps to awaken them up. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, you can listen to three songs on ReverbNation.com forward slash Chamberlain Franklin. I got my social sites. You know, you can go on, you know. Uh, Why don't you shout those out? Twitter, yeah, you Instagram. Got, uh, you got Facebook. You got Johnny Wright on the Facebook. You got Chamberlain Franklin on the Facebook, the music page. Uh, you got uh, Chamberlain underscore Franklin for the Instagram. You talked a little bit about the old school hip hop. As far as the new school hip hop, or not really even hip hop, but rap goes, yeah. who is like your favorite artist or a few artists in the game right now that are doing it? I love game. The game? The game is a beast, I man. I haven't heard anything Y'all haven't in a heard while. El Chapo. I know it's hard to pull that up because <laughs> they, they keep taking it off the internet. Like they're doggedly like taking it off. They, they, they leaked it and you, it's hard to find. So if you have not heard, El Chapel by The Game is probably one of the dopest tracks I've ever so you, heard. So you would say The Game is one of your top guys right the now? The Game is one of my top guys right now. You know what I'm saying? I, but I, I like it all, man. I like Drake. I like Nicki. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. I like some of the Young Thug stuff. Right, okay. You know? Uh, man, I like a lot of artists, man. I like Futuristic. So you get you know, inspiration from a lot of different artists. Team then. Backpack, get hip to that. That's a that's I a actually, dope medium. Dude, I actually just heard about them like two days ago. Did you? I seen them on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, another dope artist that's getting a lot of shout out is Superman. He's a Native American artist. and He's, he's a, a Native American rapper? A Native American rapper, that's and he's different. nice, man. I've connected with him, and uh, he's been getting a lot of a lot of shout outs, man. Team Backpack, you know. 
I got I got no problem shouting out people that's nice, man. Right, None, definitely. You know what I'm saying? You know, Snoop shouted him out. You know, my homie Davey on the great. You know, he's working with uh, Floyd Mayweather and TMT. So, you know what I'm saying? You know, I know some people. I got some nice people that I, I work reaching out with, connecting with, and uh, things are looking bright, man. Okay. Things are looking bright. Well, yeah, man. Yeah. Just keep that positivity and stay up. I'm psyched, man. That's how you got to do it. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's take it to the Break It Down segment. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for today's Break It Down segment, what we are doing is called acapella. What he's going to do is spit his best clean bars over no instrumental, and whenever he's ready, he can take it away. I want y'all to really rock with me, right? 216 TV. So, I say, Come follow me up north, I'd like to welcome y'all To Cleveland, Ohio, we in the heart of it all Where artists in all genres wine and shrine into the rock hall Where the greatest player in the world decided to ball it's all for one, one for all, ain't no I in team. We all share the same vision, we on our ML King. Kings, SMH, come rock with us, we're the new A team. No, it's not a mirage, I'm exactly what you're seeing. A walking, talking, living American dream. Yes, I'm one fly human being, reaching out to all earthlings. Europeans and Asians, Africans and Australians. North Americans, South Americans, all shades of human. Wherever you at right now, I need y'all to tune in. A house party in the club doing dishes in your kitchen. Stuck in traffic, oh, on the go, long as you keep it moving. Turn all the way to up, life's why we celebrate in this. Man, that sounded good. Come here, give me a handshake. That sounded <laughs> great. That sounded great. Uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's take it to the 216 trivia. 216 trivia. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is 216 Trivia, the part in the show where we ask you questions about the artist, and if you answer them correctly, you win two tickets to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You have two days for us to hear your answers. After that, the lines will be closed. Are you ready? Let's go. Chamberlain Franklin had the pleasure of working with which producer for the very first time? Was it A, Sarah J, B, Cleveland's Trump, or C, Rockstar? You can text A, B, or C and your email address to 216-912-6039 to tell us your answers. Don't forget, you only have two days to tell us your answers. Then we will draw one winner from all the correct answers to win the passes. Now, before we close out of the show, we had a winner last week. Somebody won a pair of tickets to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. We are going to draw three names out of the hat. Actually, three people won. And we are going to pick a name out of the hat right now. So let's go. Who do you think it? No, let him pick. Let him pick? Go ahead and pick, oh, pick one out of the hat. Oh, look at that. Man, I feel honored. And you can announce the email or don't the be, name. Don't, that is don't be mad page. at me if I don't pick your name. Because, <laughs> you, know, you know, whoever won, you know, He's like, you about to go to Rock Hall. Bam. All right, and the winner is. Nice. Okay, look at that. So we got uh, Johnny Mills. That's Johnny a good Mills. name. I like that name, Johnny. All right, Mills. Johnny Mills, congratulations. And make sure you guys tune in next week for more Chop It Up.